Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Today is National Move Over Day, Saturday, October 19th. Hashtag Move Over New Hampshire. Hashtag National Move Over Day. Hashtag give us a break and hashtag slow down, as you can see. Very important to move over for emergency and work vehicles that are on the side of the road. When you see an emergency vehicle on the side of the road, move over into the other lane to give them space. And now let's take a look at this video about move over law. Left emergency maintenance or towing vehicle with its emergency lights flashing, move over. Or if you're unable to change lanes, slow down. It's the law in Wisconsin. Wisconsin has a move over law that is designed to provide a safety zone for workers on the side of roadways. When approaching a law enforcement emergency or other utility vehicle with its warning lights flashing, drivers are required by law to move over if it's safe to do so. If not, drivers are required to reduce their speed until safely past the stop vehicle. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation reminds drivers that they have a legal and moral responsibility to help protect workers who must do their jobs on the side of busy roads while fast-moving vehicles pass by just a few feet away. The repercussions of failing to abide by the move-over law can be severe. My name is Trooper Jim Reese. I've been with the State Patrol for 21 years. Most of that time has been spent patrolling I-43 right here in Sheboygan County. Uh, it was a nice July day, clear out, just like it is here today. Um, I stopped a young gentleman on the interstate for a speeding violation. Um, I turned to walk back to my squad car. I saw an 18-wheeler semi approaching the traffic stop that was awfully close to the white fog line. Uh, I paused as I was walking back to my car, and about that time, uh, the semi uh, slammed into the side of my patrol car. My initial reaction was to get out of the way, create a, a gap for safety. Um, I did do that, checked with the young man I had stopped, who fortunately was unhurt. The driver of the semi did stop down the road, came back to check on us. He was visibly shaken. His first reaction was that he thought he had killed me. He did receive a citation, uh, two in fact, one for inattentive driving and one for the violation of the state's move over law. It wasn't until later that night uh, when I saw the video again and saw my young daughter and my family that the emotional factor started to kick in. There's inherent dangers with this job that we all know and accept on a daily basis, but the motoring public being a little more attentive Obeying that move over law and slowing down just ensures that we're going to be that much more safe. And it's all about safety. Uh, we train all the time with our firearms. We train and prepare with our use of force options so that we can better protect and defend ourselves against things. But there's no training and there's no preparation for avoiding a 3,000 pound automobile or an 80,000 pound semi that fails to move over or slow down during the course of a traffic stop. Uh, my name's Ernest Winters. I'm the Winnebago County Highway Commissioner. The two are working together. Okay, and that is why it's very important to move over for emergency vehicle and work vehicles that are on the side of the road. In many states in the United States have the move over law to protect our first responders, and um, work vehicles. So, everyone, when you're driving on the highway, move over when you see a flashing light of an emergency or work vehicle. That does it for my afternoon news report right here on the Rye Laking Network. I hope you all have a great 
day, everyone. And I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.